A cricket randomly hops between four leaves, on each turn hopping to one of the other three leaves with equal probability. After four hops, what is the probability that the cricket has returned to the leaf where it started? Okay, so what you can do in this problem is think, think about it in terms like this. At any given point in time, this cricket is either on the leaf where it started or not on the leaf where it started. And what we can actually do is we can actually group, we can actually group this into two separate states, like possible possible states at any given point in time. So we're gonna call this state A and this state B. And state A is gonna be the cricket is on the leaf where it started, and state B is the cricket is not. So um, you can think about it as the cricket's either gonna be in state A or state B. So now what I'm gonna say is that after each hop, what is the probability that the cricket is in state A? Um, and what you can, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, ex express it recursively. And what I mean by that is after two hops, I'm going to express it in terms of the probability that after one hop. And after three hops, I'm going to use those the numbers from um, the probability after two hops um, that the cricket is on state A to calculate the next one. And after three hops, once I have the probability that the cricket's on state A, I am going to use that number to calculate the probability that the cricket is on state A after four hops. So, so after no hops, the cricket is in state A 100% of the time. So the probability that the cricket is on state A is one, and the probability that the cricket is in state B is zero. So I'm going to make a chart to keep all of our stuff in order. And eventually what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to find the probability the cricket is in state A after four hops. So now what are we going to do? After one hop, what's the probability that the cricket is on in state A? Well, if the cricket was at, in its initial leaf after zero hops, it's going to have to hop to a different leaf. So like the cricket might go there or the cricket might go there, but the cricket will never be in state A because it moved away from its initial leaf. So the probability that the cricket is on state A is zero and the probability that the cricket is in state B is one. So now we have that and we can calculate the same thing for after two hops. What's the probability that the cricket has returned to its initial leaf? Well, after, well the cricket had has to be in state B after one hop. And it, it really doesn't matter which leaf the cricket is in because um, it's, it's the same thing regardless. So let's say the cricket ha has hopped to this leaf after one hop. Um, so I'll try, to, I'll try to draw my cricket a little bit um, like this. And so that's after one hop. And now what? What, what does what what really does that mean? So um, it means that the cricket's going to need to leave this leaf after um, after um, he he's got there. So I, on the second hop, he's going to move to travel to one of the other three leaves with equal probability. So you see that the probability that he goes back to his own starting leaf is one over three. So the probability that he's in state A is one over three, and the probability that he's in state B is two over three. Now let's go one step further. Um, after three hops, what um, what's what's the cricket gonna look like? So this is where it gets a little more complicated because the cricket could either be on its starting leaf or not be on its starting leaf. And the important thing to realize is that hey, if I'm in state A after two hops, I will never be able to be in state A after three hops because I'm gonna have to move away from my original leaf. So um, if um, the cricket was on its original leaf after two hops, there is no way that um, the, the cricket will ever be on its starting leaf after three hops. So um, in, the, in, in the one thirds of the time where the cricket does end up in state A after two hops, uh, well, the probability that contributes zero to, the, to the, the, the number over here, which is gonna end up being the total sum of all of the probabilities that for, for the set for the you know the, the two cases where the crick after two hops the cricket is in either state a or b um well this 
this case is going to contribute zero because the cricket will never be able to stay on the same leaf. So what does that mean? It means that the only way to get back to the third leaf after, I mean, the, fir the first leaf after three hops is to not be on the first leaf after two hops. So we have our cricket over here. And what's the probability that the cricket goes back um, to its original leaf? Well, there are three leaves and only one of them is a target. So the probability that the cricket returns to its first leaf is one third. But you have to be careful because the cricket was only on a different leaf two thirds of the time. So you'd have to multiply by two thirds because the probabilities are independent. So overall, after three hops, the probability that the cricket is on its original leaf in state A is two over nine. So by extension, um, seven over nine is the probability that the cricket is not on its starting leaf. And finally, after four hops, what is the probability that the cricket is on its own starting leaf? Well, what, what, you, what, you, what you need to realize is again, if the cricket was on its starting leaf after three hops, which happened to, with probability two over nine, the cricket would have to leave that leaf on his fourth hop, which means that he would never be able to um, stay on his leaf where he started after four hops. So um, in those two ninths of the time, the cricket will never be able to make it back. So this contributes zero to the total probability and if the cricket was on a different leaf, which happened with probability seven over nine, there is a one thirds chance that the cricket would go back to its original starting leaf. So um, probability that the cricket goes back is one third. Um, and the probability that he was even on a different leaf in the first place was seven over nine. So um, the probability that he got back to his leaf was seven over 27. And that's exactly what we want. The probability that he is on his leaf where he started is seven over 27, which is answer choice E. So we are done. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.